Okay, so here we are for Inktober day 17. We are making headway. I'm gonna go through and ink it real quickly. It's basically of the, um, Oh, you see, already I made a mistake. And this was just mostly because I was looking through the camera lens as my guide instead of looking through the actual paper. So that's a lesson to be learned. I don't know, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go back and cut the camera and get to inking for real, for real. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna maybe if we just make this all black, that'll fix the issue, right? Okay, then to proceed with the rest of it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna stop because trying to look through the camera to do this is not working. <laughs> I'm just gonna get back. Okay, so here we are, progress check. I went back and I decided to just make it seem like a shadow to cover up the past mistake. And this is a bottle of juice in the raw. Not quite yet done yet. I have it standing on a countertop because it's literally this. Um, but I chose to stick with the Energel instead of having another pen or marker because of the fact that I didn't want it to have different colors. And then I'm going to touch up here and here, and then I'm going to just put lemonade and just do something for the granite uh, coaster, and then we'll be done. This keeps wobbling because it's just on my lap. I'm not, no need, you can see my toe off in the distance, but no need to do um, a full official thing. I just want to do a quick sketch. It did take a minute to get the perspective right, but... Besides that, I didn't even use a ruler for this two-point perspective. I just kind of did it based off of eyeballing, which kind of defeats the purpose of a two-point perspective. Okay, here is an update on the footage so far. I decided to make it a blackout scene, which is actually kind of fitting since we've been having such in the area. I didn't have to witness one, but I heard on the news that there are power outages in places because of the storm that just went by. This is just smudge city so instead I'm just gonna go over everything with probably a gray Copic and call it done this is the first round of marker gonna just do a little bit more to accent the shadows this is the part that should be away from the light so it should be slightly darker but not as much so something like that but um, it's not how I thought it was going to turn out. It can still tell if smudging is there. So maybe if I just, I don't know why I think more marker, more ink over the ink smudge will make the ink less smudge. It doesn't work that way. But for the sake of, you know, believing it will, let's do it. And I don't have a W um number five i only have a w3 w i mean a w number four that would have been perfect it's just one grade up from this so we're doing layers instead okay so this is the final image i went back to clean up and just add a little bit more black on the bottom like right here and i'm going to just spill it out and fray it so that it looks on un not unfinished but that it looks kind of just like edgy so there you go this is it and this is the final result for inktober day 17